Miranda Snyder's orders, they're off. Martel Grand National down to the inside. Miko's dream first to begin from Bobby Joe and up there is Papillon. Followed then by Listen Timmy and out wider on the track as Frida Cotter's prominent from Trini Tro. Next in the field is Taught Up Express and Call It a Day. They're followed next in the field by Mealy Moss as they run towards the first. Let's join John Hanmer. Taught Up Express, one of the leaders. So too Trini Tro and also Esprita Cotter. And Trini Tro was the first to fall. Trinitro was Royal Padique as another one who's gone, and also Senior El Petruti is a faller. As they come now to the next, and Art Prince went as well at the first, but it's Esprit de Cot, Esprit de Cot, and Bobby Joe, and Mico's Dream also fell, and we've lost one there, which look, which looks like Dark Stranger. And Sparky Gale fell at the second, so plenty of grief already as we join Tony O'Hare with another fall of Choisty and also Earth Mover. Tour of Express, one of the leaders with Esprit de Cot, also prominent star traveler out in the center of the track. Behind these is the last fling. Brave Highlander is in behind them as they uh, all complete that uh, fence safely. Celtic Giant brings up the rear. They're running down now towards Beaches Brook for the first time. Esprit de Cot and Star Traveller. Bobby Joe on the inside ahead of Tordoff Express. They're followed by the last fling. And they're followed over Beaches by Brave Highlander and Nicky D. And then comes Papillon on the inside. And uh, we've lost Red Marauder at Beecher's as they come to the Foynaven fence. Esprit de Cot and Star Traveller. Bobby Joe, last year's winner on the inside, makes a very bad mistake and almost unseated Paul Carby. Recovered, stays fourth, just being passed by Tordoff Express. Then Brave Highlander Papillon is just behind them with Addington Boy. And then comes Escar de Fique in the last fling in Lucky Town as they come up to the canal turn. And it's Star Traveller on the outside who leads over it from in second place on the inside. Esprit de Cot, a mistake by Nicky Dean, also by Addington Boy as they head up towards Valentine's Brook, Star Traveller and Esprit de Cot, Tordoff Express, Papillon, Bobby Joe, Brave Highlander, Lucky Town, Addington Boy, as we join John Hanmer. And coming to the 10th, Star Traveller leads from Esprit de Cot, Tordoff Express, Papillon, then Bobby Joe recovered from that mistake, then comes Brave Highlander and Escart of Feig, then the last fling, and the faller there was Young Kenny. Young Kenny's gone at that one, tailed off his Celtic giant as they go to the next open ditch fence number 11. Star Traveller led over it and is clear now. They're all streaming over at the back. I didn't see a four there. Camelot Knights right out of the back, but it's Star Traveller, the leader from Esprit de Cot, Tordoff Express, Papillon, Brave Highlander. Then comes Bobby Joe and Addington Boy. They're followed by Lucky Town. And it looks as if Stormy Passage hit that very hard, probably went as well, but he's just gone out of my view, and it's Star Traveller, the leader, Stormy Passage, definitely a faller, but Star Traveller leads from Esprit de Corte, Tordoff Express, Papillon, Bobby Joe, and Addington Boy, and over to Jim McGrath. Well, it's Star Traveller who's jumping for fun out in front by three or four lengths to Tordoff Express, and Esprit de Corte just behind them. Brave Highlander is there as well, and Papillon, who's running a great race as they swing now towards the 13th fence. Hollybank Buck is not that far away either. Further back in the field, then behind Hollybank Buck is uh, Bobby Joe. They're followed by Escada Fig and Mealy Moss as they head up now towards the 13th, and it's Star Traveller who leads them to it. Star Traveller on the inside with a red cap from Tordoff Express. There are loose horses up front, and Tordoff Express is a faller, and back in the field, the Gopher has gone as well. As they head up towards the 14th, Star Traveller the leader on the inside here from the last fling, the white face on the outside, a Esprit de Cot behind them, Star Traveller a mistake but survived there, and Merry People's gone back in the field, as they head up now towards the chair, and the leader is Star Traveller, from in second Esprit de Cot, they're followed by Papillon and Hollybank Buck, then Bobby Joe behind them, followed by the last fling, and then the Brave Highlander in the centre as they head over the chair, next in the field is Stormy Passage there in the centre, Lucky Town on the near side, then is Carter Feig, Mealy is further back from Call of the Day. Jetta is next in the field as they come now to the water. Further back in the field, just behind Call of the Day is Nicky D, followed then by Village King and Sunny Bay, then Kendall Cavalier from Feels Like Gold. Then back in the field, Buck Rogers. Kingdom of Shades is next. Still can
continuing on as Camelot Knight followed by Flate Dotes, a gap to listen Timmy and Celtic Giant is the last one as they race now towards the Melling Road a second time and the leaders on the inside it's Frida Cott is up there with Star Traveller and both have been there from the outset Papillon behind them then the last fling out wider followed by in the centre Holly Bank Buck then Brave Highlander around deep on the track from Addington Boy as they head to the 17th we join John Hanmar and Star Traveller the leader only just from Esprit de Cotte Brave Highlanders right up there too. Stormy Passage is right there. It was Druid's Brook that went at the 12th, not Stormy Passage as they come to the 18th. Listen, Timmy's been pulled up and it's Star Traveller from Lucky Town. Then Papillon right there on the inner. Then Esprit de Cotte. Then Bobby Joe still in touch. And the last fling as they come to the 19th and open ditch. And Star Traveller led over it. Can't see a faller at that. As they go down to the 20th, Star Traveller shows in front of Hollybank Buck going second, then Papillon, Brave Highlander, then Lucky Town, and then Addington Boy and Nicky D, and then comes Esprit de Cot, Melly Moss getting closer, Bobby Joe's lost ground, then Stormy Passage, and Flake Totes is a faller, Village Kings a faller, and over to Tony O'Hare. Over the fence before Beatrice, Hollybank Buck and Star Traveller up there, Papillon on the inside, Lucky Town is just behind them, and they're followed by Brave Highlander in the last fling and then comes Addington Boy as they come towards Beaches for the second time. Star Traveller, Hollybank Buck, Lucky Town the outside, then Brave Highlander, Pappy on the inner, then the last fling. Buck Rogers has got closer and we've lost Esprit de Cot as a follower there at Beaches and we've also uh, lost another one at Stormy Passage as they come to the Foyne Haven for the second time. Star Traveller the leader from Hollybank Buck, Pappy on the inside, Lucky Town and for Addington Boy five. Six behind these is uh, Brave Highlander, Mealy Moss makes ground on the inside, Buck Rogers also improves, then Nicky D in the last fling and they're followed by Jeddah. Call of the day is next, then it's Scarlet Peak. Bobby Joe's dropped back, then Kendall Cavalier and Sunny Bay and they're clear of Celtic Giant as they go over the canal turn and, uh, and Buck Rogers is gone at the canal turn. Up front, Lucky Town is taken over. Papillon Star Traveller Addington Boy improves on the inside. Mealy Moss going well just behind them and then Hollybank Buck mistake by Star Traveller as we rejoin John Hanmer. And they've got five to jump. It's Lucky Town from Papillon, Addington Boy then Mealy Moss and Star Traveller. This is five out and Papillon and Lucky Town took it together from Addington Boy who's close up with Melly Moss and then Brave Highlander Addington Boy's right there but it's Papillon the last ditch four out with Lucky Town then Melly Moss has come up to join them then Addington Boy Holly Bank back Brave Highlander Nicky D call it a day and then comes the last fling and Jeddah as they jump three out and Star Traveller's been pulled up and it's still Papillon disputing the lead with Lucky Town. Norman Williamson still with his hands full on Melly Moss in third place. Then Addington Boy, Nicky D, Brave Highlander. And then Holly Bank back, call it a day. Jeddah and the last fling. And they're well clear of Bobby Joe as we join Jim McGrath. Well, as they race up now across the Melling Road and now head towards the final two fences in the 2000 Martel Grand National. And it's Papillon who shows the way from Lucky Town is up there. Mealy Moss, Norman Williamson sitting in behind. They're followed next in the field by Addington Boy. They're loose horses up there uh, worrying Papillon as they race towards the second last in the Grand National. It's Papillon who shows the way. Up there too is Mealy Moss. Then Nicky D coming there strongly in company with Brave Highlander at the second last. And Papillon lands over with a narrow lead. Here's Mealy Moss with a red cap on the outside. Nicky D's running a great race from Addington Boy and they're followed next by Brave Highlander and Lucky Town coming towards the last in the National. Papillon led over it but here's Mealy Moss on the near side they're five or six lengths to Nicky D followed next in the field by Addington Boy. They're racing towards the elbow and it's the plunge horse Papillon who's found a bit extra. He sprinted two lengths in front for Ruby Walsh battling on in second as Mealy Moss switched to the inside. They straighten up for home. A hundred yards left to go Papillon on the near side. Mealy Moss the far side trying hard to wear him down. It's Papillon holding on with 50 yards left to go and Papillon wins the Martel Grand National for Ruby Walsh and Ted Walsh. Second is Mealy Moss. Third then Nicky D. Fourth is Brave Heart.